Generation 2 Pass the gun review! Woohoo! In the world of Generation 2, Optimus Prime finds out word that the Decepticons are about to attack the communications tower. Generation 2 Optimus comes with multi-fire missiles, a disc launcher, along with a rocket. As he sets everything up and waits, he transforms and arms his laser sword. Still, seeing nothing, Megatron pounces out of the darkness in his attack bomber mode. Megatron and Starscream separate. As Starstream looms on top of the tower, watching the action below, Megatron decides to transform into tank mode. As Megatron attacks, Optimus is blindsided. What happens next is in your hands. Generation 2 Transformers, brought to you by Hasbro. Some assembly required. Vehicles and figures sold separately. Batteries not included. Welcome back to yet another Plasticon review. Today we're going to cover Generation 2 Megatron Jet Mode. And also Starscream. Because Starscream's right there. If any of you guys are actually familiar with this mold, you know that this is pretty close to the Starscream and BB mold from way back in like, uh, was it Beast Wars 2? Yeah, Beast Wars 2, that's it. Yeah, that thing. Um, yeah, it's a really, really cool mold. This mold's actually identical to the Dreadwing that we got in Generation 2 as well. Except for there are some differences here, quite a few differences. Obviously, the color scheme is probably the biggest thing here, along with some stickering. Some stickering is different. You obviously have your Meg's 24D right here on the side, along with this nice little uh, G2 logo right here which is completely different from the Starscream and BB mold because, you know, those have different things. Now, there are some color variants along with this, along with the Starscream and BB. Starscream and BB had silver. This is gray. There is a difference. There's a big difference between the two, which is actually really, really neat. Um, you can obviously tell, you know, you got gray bits here, and it's also got these missiles. The missiles, obviously, they deploy just like the other ones do, where you just press a little button right here and then it drop down. And it's a little translucent button, which is kind of crazy because some people really, really hate translucent plastic sometimes, but never had any issues with this kind of thing. And it's got your standard little missiles here. Now these are designed to go into the launcher system, which is on the front. And the launcher system, eh, kind of works a little bit, maybe. Let's try to see if we can do this and this launcher actually lowers and anything like that that you want to do with it. Let's see if we can get this thing to fire something. Ah, okay, maybe not. Starscream was to fall on the back. He actually will push in and actually plug in, but when you do that, it 
does something for the wings I'm going to show here in a couple of minutes. But, oh, nope, didn't want to fire. Ah, hey, there you go. Okay, you get the idea. There's a barrel here on the back that you actually twist. Some of these actually fire pretty good, some do not. Um, it's just the way the uh, mechanism is. The dread wing tends to fire better. I've figured that out. And along with the um, actual Starscream and BB, it fires better. And then there was the Smoke Jumper and another one. It's a universe version that came out that was gray. But yeah, fires these. There's tons of these. Comes with 12 of these missiles, these missiles, these things. And they all just kind of fall right out. No big deal. And you can lose them and drop them on the floor just like I did. But, very, very, very cool. Um, the only thing that is kind of weird about this is it actually has only two sets of landing gear. So it's got the landing gear back here. It does roll on them. But there's no rolling wheel here, which is kind of weird. I always thought that it would have been neat if they would have engineered like a wheel to be up in here. But they never did that. Anyway, you got like the nice gray going on throughout here. A lot of molded detail throughout the entire B2 bomber here. I really like this kind of a nostalgic type of thing for me because it's a prior service vehicle I used to work on. But really cool. It's got all this nice detail all the way throughout the top. All this venting and just the sticker detail really adds a lot as well. And you got like this kind of fuel cap looking thing here on the back which is kind of interesting. And intake caution and four star screams. See, this is four star screams because that's where star screen goes, right? But anyway, if you turn around to the back though, he's a big hollow mess unless you actually have star screen pushed in here, which he gently will go right inside. Now, you do have to have landing gear retracted on star screen for him to actually fit, which is kind of cool. Um, it is like a deployable type of thing where you just can take off, just like that. But something really neat that Starscream actually does when you have him like this, is you push in on him. Normally it will trigger the wings, there we go, to flip up. Now the reason why the wings flip up is because you know you fold in these back portions here. And then you can go here and just push this little tap. This little tab right here. And then Push that so that way it actually locks. Little tap here again. I can find the tab with the tab. Oh, there's a tab. There you go. Just push in like that. And then kind of push those in so they lock. Hold up the landing gear, and then you're going to go over here and grab the cannon, push it around, rotate it. There you go. You've got Megatron in tank mode. Which is kind of cool. He's a triple changer, and that's what's really cool about him. Kind of reminds me a bit of the Hiss tank from G.I. Joe, but, you know, it's not really a Hiss tank. It's just kind of a weird conglomeration of a futuristic jet with this big folded up mess. Now, it's kind of cool when you have all these missiles here, because it looks like these can fire off this way, but obviously all you have is a little trigger button, so you just have to take it off and then, like, throw it at another transformer if you felt like, or brick wall, or whatever the heck you're trying to blow up. Lots of translucent plastic throughout this thing. I mean, it really has a lot. Not to mention a ton of detail actually in that cockpit. The cockpit actually has a lot of detail, which is really neat. And this thing here actually has the ability to rock back and forth and only a swivel about that far. Now, if you did fold down the wings, obviously you'd get like a 360, but why would you do that? It's a tank. Not unless you're gonna have it diving off a cliff, which Ah, it's your toy. Really cool. I do like it. Now, the really neat thing about him is he actually has his, obviously, his robot mode. And in order to go into robot mode, I normally just kind of move this cannon just out of the way. But you're going to fold his treads here back up. Then you're going to disconnect this. And this right here actually is tabbed in really, really good. It's got a nice big post here that plugs into this hole. And then you just kind of fold this out. I tend to fold it out and then not really push these in. Just kind of get them up and out of the way. 
Then you'll take this front portion here, and to move this front portion, you have to disconnect the arms, which are pegged in here. These actually push into these little big peg hole things. It's kind of a pain to get out sometimes. And you have to flip this down, just like so. Before you do that, you will put the can out of the way and push this here. No. No. One thing. Pull the can in completely in. It's got this crazy rocker thing here. It actually falls all the way in. But when you do that, you flip up this flap. So that way it gets it completely out of the way. And then kind of push it up onto the back. Down, just like so. And then this right here will actually fold down after you push the head. And you're gonna push the head forward. Like that. And flip out his foot. He doesn't have any heel spurs, so you're gonna have that issue. Then you'll take his arms, rock it to the side. These are all on a nice little ratchet joint, so it's kind of cool. And then these right here you will actually push out. And then you can pull his arm up. Just like so. Plastic on struggle with arm flaps. This thing always gets stuck sometimes. Hey, there we go. And then you'll just push it there. And it actually has a soft detent, which is kind of nice. And then there you go. There is Megatron in his robot mode. I'll raise this up. He does have his shoulder cannon kind of thing going on here, so you're able to push this over. And when you got the missiles, you can put the missiles in there and farm away. Obviously, one of the biggest things you can tell if you actually have a Starscream BB, his head is gray. It's no longer black, which is kind of cool. It's actually really neat. I do prefer this version over the Starscream and BB mold. I just, I like the colors on this much better. It just really pops really cool looking now he is kind of tubby he is a bit back heavy and that's one thing that i kind of suggest if anybody has these uh you know, against the wall or something so that one doesn't fall over because he does have a lot of back kibble i mean he's tons of back kibble just crazy but you think they would have put like maybe like a ratcheting joint in here or something but they never did like any mold of this i've ever had has never had a ratcheting joint in here it's more of a uh mushroom peg type of thing. It does have really good articulation too though. It's something really cool, especially for Generation 2. This is pretty much like the counterpart for Laser Prime because that's what he is. Here's Starscream. Starscream is a very, very odd looking futuristic fighter jet. He looks more like a, a European dart, I would say. So obviously got Starscream 02 on there, and then he's got his little G2 emblems there. Nice little red detail here. Lots of panel lining here. Very stealthy with all the jagged edges and stuff. That's something that stealth fighters tend to have a lot of. A lot of detail in the cockpit as well. Not to mention he does have fold-out landing gear. His landing gear does fold out. And it is different colored compared to the... Uh, the actual Starscream that came with Starscream BB is this stuff's not silver, it's all gray, which is kind of cool. It does have these little things here that come off, and these are guns that can fire the missiles as well. Yep. See. And these actually fire pretty good. Just take this one here. Maybe if I can get it to go. Uh, if I can get it to go. And it doesn't fit. Why is that? I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna force anything here. It doesn't want to go for some reason. Anyway, <clears throat> these tend to actually fire pretty good um, on any of the other molds I've ever had. They really fire well. I don't know why those weren't fitting in there at all. But let's go ahead and transform him. He has a pretty complex transformation. Though. 
pull up this little landing gear just like so. And then you'll take this front portion here and kind of just flip it all forward. Which is like pretty much everything under the jet. Now this part here is kind of tricky because you have to watch out for the head. But this is on a swivel and you kind of swivel it just like so. And then it flips it around like that. Now this whole portion here can be real odd. I tend to get a little mixed up here, but you push those in just like so, and then you'll kind of fold the arms outward. That way you can take this whole uh, assembly here and flip it this way. It has a lot of flipping around, which is crazy, especially for G2, considering G2 never had a whole lot of this crazy articulation, except for, you know, obviously Dreadwing was the only one that had this Metzoid transformation. This all will kind of peg into place once you get it there. It all kind of locks in. Um, the only thing that doesn't really lock in are the shoulders here. They just kind of float. And then you've got these feet, and you flip these out. And there you go. He is kind of wonky looking. He always has been. Um, if you notice, his head sculpt is a lot different. He has got this gray along with a blue mouth mouthpiece, which is pretty different. Very, very, very cool. I know a lot of guys out there really dig this version of Starscream. And he can hold his guns just fine. Just like that. And just like that. And there you go. There's a good old Starscream in robot mood. His shoulders do kind of give because it's all one big unit, but you can tell the two put together. It's actually a pretty cool looking duo. I think it really works, especially for the time period. These things are really, really awesome. I really highly suggest people to go out there and search these out. They're really cool. Comes with 12 of these little missiles, and they obviously can still peg onto his sides and you know go inside the guns and such. And that's pretty much about where all the bits go. What's crazy is the two guns will fit into Megatron's hands as well. And it's, it just works. It just all works. I just I love this gray and purple and black. I mean, this straight up screams Decepticon like all over the place. There isn't anything here that doesn't scream Decepticon. It just works. The whole thing does. But anyhow, this has been Plasticon. This has been yet another Plasticon crazy G2 thingy, uh, yeah, toys. I'll catch you guys around, because I got more coming. Sorry it's been a while. See you in a bit. Bye.